Justin Grooms. I'm CEO at Chariot Consulting. So excited to be here with the Corporate Leaders Roundtable tonight. Excited to meet all the CEOs and executives that are coming in to talk about what they do, what they have going on in their business. Uh, it's going to be a great night. Looking forward to meeting everyone. Here talking to Jane Wells at Corporate Leaders Roundtable. Jane, welcome and tell us uh, a little bit about this event and why you're here and, and what, what's going to be happening tonight. Uh, well, this is an event where C-level uh, executives from the area get together and they talk about best practices and what I like about it, they're always from dis different industries and even from different parts of the C-suite. So you have a CFO and a CIO and a CEO and they all have different jobs and yet there's so much that's in common with them and yet in each industry there's also individual needs and challenges. I have been a longtime business reporter and I love coming to these things because it makes me a better reporter. I always learn something new. Hey, I'm Justin Grooms here again with Hader. Hader, welcome tonight. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and what brought you out tonight. I am, uh, I work for the City of Thousand Oaks. I'm the City of Thousand Oaks uh, Economic Development Manager and the job basically is helping um, businesses uh, communicating with them about what their needs are and what they need to do and welcome them to the city. Uh, my name is Lisa Roger. I'm the CFO of Bar Fresh Corporation and we're a provider of smoothies to mostly to K-12 market but also food service and military. Um, I came out because I'm just interested in general in business topics and staying current but also I'm um, here to support an old friend of mine, Joe, um, from Mission, um, Mission Foods. My name is Kim Hoffman, I'm the president of Ventura College, and I'm glad to be here because I so I can meet people like you and other executive and industry partners that can maybe connect with our college to help support our students. Justin Grooms here again with Gary Hall. Gary, thanks so much for being here. And uh, first of all, what a great outfit you've got on, putting me to shame right now. Uh, thanks. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Tell us a little about why you're here tonight uh, and, and what you're doing, what this new initiative is for you. Community. That's what this event is all about, bringing people together. Interested. There's so many interesting people, right? And how many of us really take the time to stop and have a conversation with other people that we pass on the street regularly or we see in the grocery store and so brings together all these incredible leaders doing incredible things for the community um, together and that's been missing we all talk about how that social connection has uh, disappeared in, in recent years and so um, it's nice to be at an in-person event uh, swapping stories and meeting new interesting people yeah. David Martin and I uh, have been with Union Bank for 12 years and now we are becoming U.S. Bank. I'm with the Commercial Banking Group and uh, just happy to make the transition. Hello, my name is Rudy Sedios, uh, also on the Union Bank side transitioning to U.S. Bank. I've uh, been with the bank for 12 years on the commercial uh, lending team and uh, we work with a lot of middle market companies in this entire area. So just want to represent the bank, uh, you know, in our territory. So good to be here. Hello everyone, yeah, Pablo Garcia, also Union Bank going into U.S. Bank. Um, yeah, great to be here for the prospect team, the networking uh, with great, great corporate leaders and um, looking forward to, uh, to the next events as well. So. for avocados right now and supply well, the, the demand remains high 
the supply is is fluctuating constantly. Uh, it fluctuates uh, in Mexico, which is the prime source, uh, based on on weather and based on other conditions. So depending on how how the supply is, the, the price reacts much like a commodity, like gold or silver. Y la situación en la frontera, uh, cómo afecta su empresa? La situación en la frontera pues, nos afecta en, 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 en un sentido positivamente porque vendemos principalmente a, a la comunidad hispana, pero como un evento social es, es algo que requiere de una solución política finalmente, uh, pero para el negocio nuestro uh, nos va muy bien. Gracias. Para mí una carne asada significa una reunión de familia. El barbecue para nosotros es primordial. Mis hijos han crecido desde que eran niños este, con carne asada. En nuestras carnes asadas todos ayudamos. A unos prenden la carne o el carbón. Cuando la primera carne asada, cuando nos casamos, que viene mi esposa conmigo y tuvimos una carne asada en mi casa, toda la recuerdo como si fuera hoy. La salsa de, de mi esposa es una de las mejores que, que, que hay por ahí. Joe, as Chief Information Officer, how do you see AI affecting farming? Uh, it's going to make mass improvements, right? So now you can use AI to uh, kind of help predict, predict weather. Uh, you can kind of add in geopolitics, weather, uh, previous crops, and kind of put that all together and combine it now to actually come up with a better analysis, whereas before, everybody's, it's kind of a guess, right? It's kind of the old school of like you have on years, off years. So I think that's going to be a big change that you're going to see where a lot more technology, a lot more information to make better decisions and more accurate decisions, actually. And not just on the software side, what about robotics uh, to help uh, cut down on the need for labor, which is always a challenge? Yeah. yeah, I mean, we actually use advanced sorting machines already that actually take like thousands of pictures of each avocado to determine the size and quality of those avocados. Getting the customer what they want, when they want, and when they need it is exactly what sets Mission Produce apart. Mission Produce is extremely competitive. We will continue to drive and innovate and strive to be the best. Joseph, Joseph, thank you so much for being here tonight. Tell us a bit about yourself. What brought you out tonight? Uh, John Lockhart brought me out. No, um, I, I was interested. I missed the first one, or what I thought was the first one. There may have been more, and I told John I really want to be a part of that, and he knows I'm part of Clean Power Alliance. He's seen me present at various uh, places around the county and said, come on down, you should meet these people. It's been a great network thus far. I'm looking forward to the program. I really don't know what the program is going to be, but I'm looking forward to it. And uh, judging by the caliber of the people I'm meeting, this has been a good place to be, and I'm looking forward to more of them. Um, mi nombre es Pablo García. Eh, trabajo en Relaciones Públicas para el Banco, para U.S. Bank. Eh, hago toda la parte que tiene que ver con eh, manejo del dinero, de inversiones, de eh, todo lo que necesitan las compañías. Eh, he estado aquí o he venido aquí a, a, a este evento porque es muy bueno para conocer nueva gente y para, para poner mi nombre más en, en el mercado para que más gente me conozca a mí y, y ayudar a quien pueda a quien pueda ayudar. I'm Linda Braunschweiger and I'm the CEO for the Housing Trust Fund Ventura County and the Housing Land Trust Ventura County and we support more affordable housing in the community as a nonprofit lender. And so I love going to events like this to talk to the business community about their needs for housing for their employees so that they can maintain those employees in this county. And I just love the connection with different people.
Justin Grooms here again with Tom. Tom, tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, what brought you here tonight, what you do, and what your business does. Yeah, so I'm here tonight representing uh, Genelux. It's a biopharma company that I run here in, now in Westlake Village. We had been based in San Diego, but I've been in Westlake since the early 90s, worked for Amgen for a number of years, and we're going to grow. We're in phase three in a uh, phase three clinical trial for ovarian cancer patients. And so we're going to grow the business here, and we're going to give back. And I, the best way to do that is to get connected and to meet other leaders and phenomenal leaders. It's just been a, a great experience just to, to talk to people in different fields and hear where we have touch points. And I'm looking forward to, to bringing, you know, expanding that, bringing my team in, and really becoming further integrated into the community. Yeah, you know, Westlake Village has really become the hub uh, for biomedical research and facilities. Uh, did you see that happening? And, and if so, did you think it would happen this quickly? That's a great question. So I've been with the company for about eight years, and we would struggled financially for quite some time. And I've been telling my board that there was such a fruitful area for, for world-class scientists and people having been, you know, had, having been in, at, at Amgen, that I long wondered why we weren't seeing more of an ecosystem developing. So I had told the board like five years ago, we've got to get up here. Unfortunately, I couldn't do that until pretty recently. Uh, we went public in January. Uh, the stocks performed very well. We're, we're now well financed. And so we're ready to build here in Westlake Village. but not healthy enough to purchase health insurance at that time. How so much of your produce comes from south of the border? Uh, 90% of the exciting times. How much have you raised? We have raised $47 million from our Series A and a follow-on round uh, within that. So that was enough to get us started and that's probably the best for these four years. I looked around at my other colleagues and I realized everybody had an MBA and that's when I knew if I wanted to go any further in this company, I needed to further my education. The executive MBA at Cal Lutheran is really a chance to further your education, but in an atmosphere that's conducive to your world. PR, marketing, statistics, metrics, analytics, all those things that I learned in the program, I'm able to apply. It was just great to have faculty who have the real world experience, but also understand how to impart that knowledge to folks in a classroom. It's an accomplishment that you can share with your existing network to help you kind of advance to the next level. It actually got me into an interview for a different position. I got promoted to the director of programming and operations for the whole music department. You're gonna walk back into your job or into a new job and really kind of have a wider view of what the possibilities are. To me, that's the number one thing.